It's been a hot start to 2023. Will we see any snow next week? That's what we're here for, for Snow Surge. It's meteorologist Joe Martucci at the Press of Atlantic City. Joined with me, my weather brother, Sean Sublet at the Richmond Times Dispatch. Sean, what's happening? We are a little chilly again, but you know, not awfully cold. We had some good soaking rain on Sunday here. But, you know, overall, and this has been a, the case for a lot of the East Coast, hasn't been especially cold since the first of the year. Yeah, uh, not really. And we'll try to see if we can find any snow and cold for you snow lovers out there. That is snow search. We are looking for those conditions here. We're not going to tell you if it's going to, you know, snow on January 17th, 4.2 inches. But we can give you some general trends about what can happen next week. We're talking about that 6 to 10 day period out. And again, it's hosted by Sean Sublet and I, and we cover from the Carolinas and up to New Jersey and Pennsylvania here. So, Sean, uh, you know, we are going through winter pretty quickly. Tell us what's going to happen next week in those areas yeah. of blue. So, you know, we're getting to what's climatologically the coldest time of the year. Here in Virginia, it is the just about a week or so away, the 15th through the 21st of January. And then it's a little bit later uh, northward for there through Pennsylvania and New Jersey. But that's what that map is all about. The, the darker blue showing the climatological coldest time of the year. Obviously, it can be colder at, at different times. But when we think about the years going by, 20, 30 years, you average it out. This is kind of the coldest time of year coming up in the next one to two weeks. So how do some of these, these climate oscillations look, Joe, in terms of the opportunity to get the cold settled back into the East Coast? Yeah, you know, it's kind of the same story when we were talking about what was going to happen this week, last week, when we did our last episode of Snow Search. So this is the NAO, the North Atlantic Oscillation. We're going towards a neutral trend as we go into next week. Pretty much just means equal chances for East Coast cold and snow as opposed to it being warm and wet or warm and dry here. Um, so not much to say about that. We look at the AO, the Arctic Oscillation. It continues to be negative. Sean, we have not been positive with the Arctic Oscillation since the middle of November. And if you're a snow lover, especially if you're a snow lover and you know a little bit about these indexes, you're saying, what a waste of an Arctic oscillation here. It's been negative for so long. That typically means a bigger storm and cold somewhere in the United States, but it just hasn't been in the Eastern United States. And when it has, it hasn't been for long and definitely hasn't linked up with snow. Then we have the Pacific North American Index. What we're looking for, if you want to see the snow, is for this to be in positive territory. Now, we'll get there by the end of next week, but it's going to be barely positive essentially it's neutral sean and that yeah. just means again equal chances of some cold in the eastern united states but it could just as well be mild and mild is pretty much what we're going to be talking about here as we go into next week but we do want to talk a little bit about the martin luther king day weekend storm here and Sean, i'll turn it over to you for that that's going to be before our official snow surge period which is from january 15th to about the 20th yeah, so let's kick off that map Thursday morning when things are still fairly quiet through the middle Atlantic from Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and all the way to North Carolina. Moving forward in time toward about dusk on Thursday, we'll see the rain moving into to western Virginia, western Carolina, and covering most of, of Pennsylvania. But really, uh, I think it's going to be Thursday night into Friday morning where most of the precipitation falls. And, and to follow the color codes here, the greens are where the where the rain is, these, these bluer colors and whiter colors are where the snow is. And watch the map as we move forward from, from daybreak on Friday through Friday evening towards seven o'clock. Even through most of New Jersey, it's still rain, precipitation shutting down in central Virginia. And all the snow is going to hold west to the Blue Ridge, really west of the spine of the Appalachians. Uh, if you're doing some traveling through western Pennsylvania, out towards Seven Springs, the ski resorts there, a lot of the ski resorts in the state of West Virginia will pick up some fresh powder with this system that goes through, again, to the close of this week and into the first part of the weekend. Uh, but as we get past 7, 7.30 on Saturday morning, things are going to be quiet. And the big thing you and I are going to notice uh, here east of the Appalachians, Joe, uh, it's going to be windy. And cold. Uh, yeah, it's going to be windy. And that could be a problem, uh, you know, for you as we go Friday into Saturday. So if you're down yeah. in uh, Virginia, follow Sean. If you're in Jersey, you know where to find me. 
Uh, we'll be talking about that plenty over the next couple of days. Now, as we go into next week, we'll take a look at our upper level pattern for you here. And we show this every week because this is like the bread and butter of how we forecast here. What you see at the upper levels tells us a lot about what's going to happen here at the surface. So, you know, we start off with the 15th here of January. That's next Sunday. You see that low pressure system over in New England. That's that, you know, Friday to Saturday of Martin Luther mm -hmm. King storm, Martin Luther King Day weekend, I should say that we were talking about. Now, another low pressure system moves from the Rockies into the center of the country as we go into the 17th. But you notice those warmer colors up the East Coast. That's a ridge of high pressure. And that's going to pretty much deflect that low from getting too far east. And why I say that is because if that storm, that low pressure system actually makes its way far enough offshore, it ends up dragging in colder air around that counterclockwise spinning low. And you get some snow, but not this time. It's another what we call inland cutter. And when you're having an inland cutter for us, Sean, from the Carolinas all the way up to New Jersey and Pennsylvania, uh -huh. you're just talking about it being pretty much rain for us here, Sean. So the one day I wanted to point out was the 18th mm -hmm. system here. I'm not going to completely rule out a plowable <laughs> snow in, you know, central PA central northern New Jersey, maybe a little bit towards my Atlantic City friends, but it's a low probability. More than likely, we're talking about rain here, Sean. Yeah, and this is what, you know, you hear people talk about the La Nina so much, and this is the the recurring La Nina thing where we have these storms that are the inland cutters. They kind of drag up the spine of the Appalachians and go into New England rather than shift just two or 300 miles farther to the east and give us a little more opportunity to pick up some snowfall anywhere from from Philly and South Jersey all the way down into Virginia and the Carolinas. So I think uh, we're not going to have a lot of cold for a long time. We'll have these little bursts of cold, um, but nothing that looks like it's going to lock in for a while that leads us to snow. I mean, is, is that the way you're kind of seeing it too, Joe? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the way we're seeing it here. We're looking at our recap. I mean, a little bit of cold this upcoming weekend. It's not even going to be very cold it's just more a yeah. little bit below average warmer next week meaning more 40s and 50s mm -hmm. in maryland pennsylvania new jersey and 50s and 60s in virginia and north carolina you know again the 18th maybe you know we get a we get plowable snow but it's a low probability things would have to go just right the only thing that is even me is even allowing me to put a low probability for plowable <laughs> snow is because it does look yeah. like there will be a colder high pressure system just around New England. Yeah. And as that storm moves up through and into the Northeast, a little cold air could hang around. But again, low probability. You should anticipate on this being mostly rain for us here. So, yeah. Sean, that is our snow search for next week. Looks like we're going to keep searching for snow. Um, but we can talk about the one thing we have been searching for over the past week weather or otherwise as you know i have been talking about sports over the past couple of weeks i'm going to keep it in that realm as we go forward in time here uh because i'm searching for nfl playoff weekend on the oh. weekends i didn't know there was a monday night football game i guess it started last year i completely forgot about that sean so um i don't know it just doesn't seem fair to some of the players who are going to be out there on monday and then they have the turnaround for i'm guessing sunday that's still a short week, Sean. It is a short week. Now, for me, I'm excited because you know, we're recording this on Monday, but the college football championship game is tonight, the TCU Horn Frogs. I've got a good friend I used to be on the air with in Roanoke, Virginia. He's a huge TCU fan. He's a grad. I know he is very psyched. In fact, I think he actually went out there uh, for the game on his Facebook on oh. his Facebook uh, page. Um, so out for to him, LA. Yeah, so for him, I'm kind of hoping TCU wins, but at the same time, I've got friends who are, who are at the University of Georgia, so this is tough. I like Georgia in a close game tonight. We'll see. I, I think either Georgia is going to blow the wheels off of TCU or TCU is going to do their, um, you know, come back at the end of the game and win by three or seven. We shall see, although – uh, I will be a happy person if TCU wins. <laughs> I'll put it that way. Um, you can check out front page bets for more on yes. that uh, as we go into tonight. So anyway, thanks everybody for watching. We'll be back with you next Monday for another epi uh, episode of Snow Search.
Until then, for meteorologist Sean Sublet, I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. We will talk to you soon.